Hi, my name's Joseph Steele. I'm one of the co-directors of Visual Skies. Um, Visual Skies started in 2016 with just myself and Ross. We uh, started it with just two drones, a drone license, drone insurance, and started scanning the world. Uh, we've Since then, we've moved into digitizing humans, props, and all of the weird and wonderful things in between. I've been at Visual Skies kind of since its inception, really. We've been working together uh, from the very early days of, uh, of this entity, and I'm um, very proud to be here and to be part of this growing, extraordinary enterprise. My name is Callum Reed. I am the Managing Director of Visual Skies Europe here in Berlin. Over the last few years, we've been seeing a massive increase of use of 3D scanning and volumetric media across industries, mainly from the point of using it as just a tool within a tool chain to being used more as content in its own right. Companies across a range of industries are really waking up to volumetric content and the content we provide. It's becoming more and more useful in more and more areas. In fashion, for example, we're seeing 3D scanning being used as new ways to visualize garments online and also for new ways to experience a fashion show. In architecture, it's a practical tool for restoration projects as well as a great new way to visualize projects for clients. Um, and the biggest increase of 3D scanning we've seen is in the motion picture industry, uh, where it's now a key part of pre-visualization tools as well as virtual production uh, methodologies. Uh, we offer a number of different services and having people from all different industries, from all different backgrounds means that we're able to think about what we're doing in a much more objective way. You know, someone who's worked in archaeology will have a different understanding of scanning technology from someone who's worked in the visual effects industry and it's actually really helpful and is the creative process that helps us to build our clients' briefs and utilize the technology in ways that you just wouldn't if you were just coming at it from one industry. We've never thought it would grow into such a big thing. You know, we've never thought we'd be working for, you know, Disney's Netflixes, but um, yeah, we are, here we are. One of our proudest moments of 2022 uh, was scanning the female footballers for FIFA and so it's a great moment for us at Visual Skies to deploy our uh, cyber scanning technology on the world's first female footballers um, EA sports game. There's definitely um, sort of landmark projects that really underline exactly what Visual Skies are all about. And my favorite project is the Lost Cities project uh, where we're working with National Geographic and Disney Plus to bring the whole range of our technologies to, to this program. Uh, we work with our friend Albert Lynn, the Explorer, uh, to go extraordinary places around the world that brings new information, new discoveries to the public uh, in their living rooms. I've been in the volumetric media space for nearly 15 years. I specialize in the camera array side and photogrammetry and, uh, and also evangelizing the idea of 3D scanned content or volumetric media being content in its own right. I feel lucky to have seen firsthand uh, how 3D scanning and volumetric media has kind of moved from being a niche requirement to an essential tool in the content media industry. Having grown up wanting to be an archaeologist the whole of my young life, uh, I went through university, did an archaeology degree and then worked for 25, nearly 30 years as an archaeologist, a professional archaeologist. The latter part of that was using um, modern technology, using measurement technology to do um, surveying, if you like, archaeological surveying. So when I left the Museum of London, left the, the career archaeology behind me for financial reasons, um, I then moved into survey firms and developed new markets for uh, cutting edge technology. Uh, laser scanning being at the very forefront of this cutting-edge technology. Since a young age, I've been passionate about all things that fly, essentially. My background is in visual effects, but I've always uh, built my own um, remote control aircraft as a kid. 
Um, I remember attaching a disposable camera to one of my planes when I was about 10 years old, 12 years old, taking one exposure and developing it and, uh, and um, looking at it and not really understanding what I captured, but it was you know, my first aerial uh, photograph. If I knew what it was we were going to do when I was 10 years old, I might have got here a bit quicker, but uh, we got here nonetheless. My background was in um, setting up um, camera technology arrays and developing the post uh, processing pipelines to consume that data as well um, for everything from stitching 360 cameras uh, for GoPro um, to setting up um, camera, 100 camera rigs in the desert. Never in all my years training as an architect did I think that my experience would be used in this way. Having digitised some of the world's most famous buildings, I'm now able to advise our construction industry clients on the best way to move forward utilising this new and exciting technology. I'm incredibly excited to uh, to be involved with uh, the Visual Skies move into the continent and Berlin is a perfect fit for us. Germany is one of my favourite countries. My children are, are part German. Um, I've frequently had contact with, with, uh, with Germany over the years and feel very at home there. Berlin is an incredible city and a fantastic stepping stone for the entire of Central Europe. It's also a really exciting hub that attracts talent from all across the globe. Berlin is a city overflowing with creativity and new technology enterprises. And where we've based ourselves in Berlin is an incredible, thriving community of artists and designers and technology partners, future technology partners. And yeah, really excited to be there. Like-minded individuals who are really excited about pushing this new types of technology. Access to a wealth of new resources for um, pushing the boundaries of 3D scanning is all across Europe. Whether in London or Berlin, our office is always open. It's a home for creativity and technology, so feel free to pop in.